Hey, welcome again to uh, High Five. Let's go up higher. Let's be like eagles and let's go up higher. Uh, I have talked about uh, a book. It's called On Eagle's Wings. It's by Cole Stringer of Australia. You can buy it online. On Eagle's Wings by Cole Stringer. He's from Australia and it probably is the best book ever made about eagles and i'm not kidding at all about that it's it's an excellent book it's an excellent source of reference in fact it is a book if you remember when joyce meyer was doing her her teaching on eagles um on tv uh, i think it was for two weeks she taught on eagles and all that information that she got was from that book excellent book and then my next favorite is, of course, mine, Those That Wait. And Jennifer, our, associate, our, our assistant today, uh, I, I told her if she ever leaves, I'm quitting too. <laughs> so uh, she's an excellent assistant. And um, she is starting to put um, this book, Those That Wait, since it's out of print, it's going to be on my blog site, mbostrom2.com. Amazon Mary, Bostrom, B O S T R O M, number two dot com. And it's going to be on that site chapter by chapter and uh, under those that wait. But let's talk about, let's, let's go where we were yesterday. Yesterday I was talking about the word for wait. Now there's different words in the Old Testament in, in Hebrew that mean wait, and each one of them means wait in a different, uh, different light. But uh, this word, kava, Q-A-V-A-H, it means, the prime root means to bind together, perhaps by twisting, this is collect figuratively, to expect, gather together, look patiently, tarry, wait for, uh, up on or upon. Now, I'm gonna read you from my, from my book here on page 28. When I was meditating on waiting the Lord, I kept hearing the word wicked. I kept hearing the word wicked in my spirit. I had learned the meaning of the word wicked in Hebrew years ago when I taught on Psalms 1. Blessed is a man who walks not in the, in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands away the sinner, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Now that word ungodly there is, is rasha, rasha. And it means a morally wrong or bad person, somebody that is guilty, a wicked criminal. Uh, this is where in Genesis 18:23, when uh, Abraham uh, came near to God and said, "Would you destroy the righteous with the wicked?" So, what are the wicked in in our society? What are the wicked? The ungodly and wicked have twisted thinking, much like the twisting of a wicker basket. Their thinking has nothing to do with the Word of God. And they twist their thinking with a natural human reasoning, it becomes twisted. Their thinking of who God is and how he will operate may be twisted by a former abuse of a father and they cannot trust God because of what their father has done to them. Or it may be twisted by traditions of man, forming religious strongholds in their mind. There are many things that can cause wicked and ungodly thinking, and they do not realize that they have a mind set against God. These people may go to church, but they're, they're tw and, but one hour of going to church a week. You know, some people, that's the only time they open up the Bible. And, you know, people don't even bring their Bible to church anymore, number one, because they put it on the overhead. And, uh, and so many people don't even get into the Word of God and so what is our mind twisted with? It's twisted with the media, it's twisted with arts and entertainment, it's twisted with uh, just a lot of wrong thinking. You know, there, and it creates a stronghold. What God wants us to do is to twist our thinking around the Word of God. So whenever we come up against something, the Word will rise up inside of us and, and give us the answer. That's what God wants us to do. He wants His Word to be a lamp into our feet and a light into our pathway. And, and then we will not sin against God because God wants us to be like Psalms, 9, uh, Psalms 1. I, I speak this over my husband all the time. Blessed is Ken 
who walks not in the way of the ungodly, who stands not in the way of the sinners, who sits not with the seed of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. And Ken is like that tree that's planted by the rivers of water, who bring forth fruit in its season, whose leaf will never wither, and whatsoever my husband Ken does will prosper. Don't you want to be like that? Don't you want everything to be prosperous in your life? Well, the secret of that is twist your mind, get your mind on the things of God. God bless. See you tomorrow.